All right, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. Uh, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, I made videos on the prelims in regards to the fight that will be taking place tomorrow, actually, in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, in the UFC's Apex facility between a bunch of um, fighters. But at the same time, those were just the prelims. No disrespect to the other fighters, but these guys are the reason why people are here, okay? And so if there isn't a better fight to start this thing off, it has to be uh, the heavyweights, right? The heavyweights are always the people that bring the most onto the table. Um, and so right now, it's my pleasure to talk to you guys about and, and hopefully predict correctly um, the fight between Blagoy Ivanov and Augusto Sakai. Um, listen, just a, a, a pre-reminder here. I'm going to butcher nine out of ten of these names. And at the same time, I'm no fortune teller. Like, I'm no uh, teller. I have people uh, in the comments asking me like, yo, dude, like I was going to bet on this guy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen to your advice. Am I going am I going to become rich? Listen, I'm here to talk about what I find entertaining, uh, which is to analyze potential fighters, potential winners, potential losers. I'm just like you. I'm just a guy just to, from head to toe, like a, just a normal guy trying to predict these things. Like I can't predict the future. So listen, don't come to me once you lose. 10 billion dollars and be like yeah but michael vangelo told me that i should bet on this guy like listen these are just suggestions all right so don't take these to heart but take these rather take these opinions as perspectives or things to think about because i've done a bit of research that's all i'm gonna say so the battle of the heavyweights okay so we have augusto sakai so let's start with this guy for a second because if i saw this guy down the street okay let's say he was like yo give me all your money. He, he wouldn't have to finish his sentence. Like I just stripped down and I'd be like, yo, dude, take my clothes. Look, you want my phone? Take it. I, it's not like I messaged with anyone anyways. But literally, dude, this guy's the scariest dude ever. And his record is absolutely out of this world. 14 wins and one loss. Um, he's an absolute unit, 100%. He's six foot four, weighs 265 pounds. And what's even scarier about Sakai isn't the fact that, you know, he's got 14 wins, but 11 of those 14 wins have come from TKO or knockout. I don't think you heard me. 11 out of 14 have come from knockout or technical knockout. Like, dude, this guy, he's an animal. He's literally, look, he's going to go in the ring, slap you up until you can't even recognize where your own name is. And then that's how he gets his dubs. So this guy's scary. He's definitely a hard hitter, 100%. Okay, so, but let's talk about Sakai for a second. Um, cause, cause who is he? A lot of you guys probably heard him for the first time. Uh, I, I certainly did, I must admit. Uh, he started his UFC debut in 2011 and he actually moved to Bellator before moving back to the UFC. However, one thing that needs to be said about Augusto Sakai is despite the fact that he has relentless power, his jujitsu and grappling lack a little bit so if there's any opponent out there who wants to fight this dude if you're a black belt in jiu-jitsu you could potentially have a chance of course you have to be six foot four and you have to weigh around like 260 pounds but you know that's the weak side of his game and so uh what we want to know about sakai is also how well he's been doing in his latest matches and so since 2017 uh sakai has actually come from five straight wins four of these four of those wins from knockout and one via decision against Andrei Arlovsky. So basically, if you let this man strike you, you're gonna fall. Simple as that. Dude, probably being hit by someone like Augusto Sakai is probably the same as like a weightlifter, like lifting the weight up in the air and then slipping, letting it slip from his hand and then letting it fall on his head. And then he just like passes out have you seen those videos of those guys who try to lift like an elephant in their backyard and then just slips and then they just fall and then they catch it all on camera that's probably what it feels like to get hit by this guy so who is he facing because okay we talked a lot about augusto sakai he's a monster okay cool don't want to see him down the street late at night 100 percent um but who is he facing he's actually facing baga blagoy ivanov and just from the from his name he sounds like someone who like worked in the military of like you know some some country you know so this man is currently ranked 13th in the uh heavyweights and he comes from sofia bulgaria and again he's rather sh he's actually rather shorter and also stockier than sakai he stands 5'11 and weighs 251 pounds he also has a very impressive record 18 wins and three losses but what makes ivanov that much more intimidating 
But what makes Ivanov that much more intimidating is the fact that his UFC wins are so diversified. Six have come from TKO knockout, six have come from unanimous decision, and six have come from submission. Dude, this guy comes from all angles. He'll lay you out, he'll put you in a Kamura or whatever, or he'll just let it go five rounds. You want to last all the, the, like, the entirety of the, mat, of the fight? He can do that too. And so let's delve into this a little bit because we did talk about how he has relentless knockout power, but at the same time, he also has a very diversified fighting background. So specifically, he took Combat Sambo, uh, of which he gained gold in 2008, representing Bulgaria. Um, he also engages in kickboxing as well as judo, in which he has a black belt. So that's where those six uh, victories from submissions come from. So for those interested in the odds, keep in mind with the odds that at the time I did the research, they could have been a certain amount. Um, now they could be a different amount. So I'm gonna be reporting to you guys the, uh, the odds that I found while researching, but don't take these to heart because they could have changed in you know the past few days. But for my research, it said Sakai was minus 110, even of minus 110 as well. So literally like society is just kind of like, yo dude, I think they're both gonna win. Like it's, there's, it's completely balanced. Like it's very, it could be anyone's fight. So the, if I could sum it up, you basically have a huge giant who wants to battle against a fighter who despite having a size disadvantage is so extremely well-rounded that if there's any form of loophole in Sakai's game, he'll take it. So it's literally about whether or not Sakai is able to keep focus, not lunge in too much with those punches and whether he can protect his guard at full times. And obviously defend well uh, in terms of takedowns or in terms of submission. So in my opinion, what do I think? I think Baga is going to take it home. Ivanov is going to take it home. Um, you know, if he's able to stay away from that venomous right hand from Sakai, I think he's going to be able to work around it. We've seen six wins from submission, six wins from uh, unanimous decision. So he can definitely go the long distance. I feel like Sakai is a fighter who wants to get in there and just end it early. I don't he doesn't strike me as a guy who has a very long gas tank um, because again, 11 of those 14 wins have come from straight knockouts. So he just wants to get it done, right? So uh, I think he can definitely out grapple him, out wrestle him. But again, if Ivanov is not careful, Sakai will lay him out. So I'm opting for the fact that Ivanov will take those measures. He will realize that Sakai is a dangerous dude and that if he hits him, it's over. Uh, and so keeping all this in mind, I think Ivanov is gonna win this fight. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's where I think um, the win is going to go to. I hope you guys enjoyed this prediction. Uh, again, this is all taking place like tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm extremely excited to watch this. I hope you guys are too. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my prediction for you. Please let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to win, who you guys are opting for. Just I'm, I'm curious to see because this was just my opinion. I want to know yours. Um, if you guys like these type of breakdowns, I've got more incoming. We've got... Tyron Woodley to talk about, Daniel Rodriguez to talk about. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, subscribe to the channel down below. And if you do, and I see you guys in the next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>